good evening, Tronendal. First, I would like to thank all the resource person who have come here to Anna University and spend their valuable time for the benefit of our faculty members in Anna University and all the other uh, faculty members from other university. Uh, really, it's an uh, eye opener to many of us. Even I, so unfortunately, I didn't attend the, even the UHP one also. I, uh, when uh, Dr. Kamala presented, uh, it seems many of our faculty members have attended, but I didn't get the opportunity to attend. Uh, today's uh, workshop, it's a def uh, definitely an eye opener, and uh, uh, I couldn't attend the full session also. Of some Pongal Vala and one MOU signing in the middle I went. And I, uh, uh, I felt sorry that I couldn't attend the entire program when the resource persons are here and delivering uh, very good things. And uh, Mr. Dr. Kumar Sambhav, it seems in the, during the lunch time, I heard that uh, Dr. Kumar Sambhav, he is uh, giving online lecture every day from 5.30 to 6.30. Every day he is giving in Hindi. <laughs> and uh, his wife is giving lecture every day in uh, English. Yeah, so it's uh, amazing and many of more than 400 people are attending every day about this and uh, once in the, if they start attending, four months will be a course and uh, that means a uh, lot of people are doing a lot of good service to the society and uh, I felt uh, very happy in the sense uh, if all our faculty members are undergoing this course, uh, my time in solving problems in the university will get reduced. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody will respect others and uh, definitely it will be uh, for the next, maybe I will be there uh, here for another six months. And next Vice Chancellor, uh, this, uh, his time for uh, solving uh, human related issues will be uh, reduced and uh, definitely a good harmony will prevail in this university which is uh, so most of the people can spend their time for positive development rather than solving problems in this university and uh, whatever it's available we should work. Uh, so what have I understood from this, uh, this lecture, it's a uh, harmony. Harmony is required, harmony in, with the nature, harmony with the people, self, everything is required. So this uh, family relationship is very essential. First, we need to build very good family relationship, then only that will penetrate in the office atmosphere also. So we need to build a very good relationship with our family members. If we are failing in that, definitely that will reflect on your office works also. So many times I felt uh, when I start from the uh, home to the institution, last one minute if something happened in the uh, family, if she tells, if my wife tells something means the whole day will be spoiled. <laughs> so that, so I have experienced many times and uh, when, when we came uh, during the, uh, when I, uh, the, the driving also, if some small, small incident that will penetrate in our mind and the whole day we can see some turbulent in that. So we to whatever happen, we should take it as a positive thing and uh, definitely very good harmony will prevail in the family, working place and in the society for this kind of education is very essential. And what I, uh, some kind of uh, more, mostly our, our human, we make mistakes uh, when there is a total attachment or total detachment. So to, uh, mostly our human mind will go towards attachment. Anything if you go do this, if attachment is more than the level uh, it is expected, then problem will start. Uh, mostly husband and uh, uh, wife and mother-in-law, the problem is because of attachment. No? <laughs> so who is more attached? The, so that problem to be balanced, so like that uh, everywhere, the attachment or detachment, it should be, ev ev not only in this, everywhere, if it is something excess, it will become poisonous. Something excess, it will become poisonous. So that uh, balance, equilibrium, attainment is possible only through kind of value education. Value education. So our, uh, all these days we have got uh, education for knowledge development. Recently, the industries, they need more of skill-based education. But uh, attitude development is more required in the coming years because the attitude is missing in the students and the uh, expectation is high. The problem coming to the society is very much because of attitude problem with the uh, human beings. So attitude development is more, so there is a word called ask, attitude, skill and knowledge. So A is the first. 
so here after in the education side our attitude development is more essential than skill development then only knowledge importing is required because knowledge here after students will get on their own because everything everything every uh, uh, content is available so attitude development is very much required so olden days uh, when we studied in the schools moral education is there so that is not uh, nowadays it is not there i think they as a part of the syllabus so we need to bring uh, moral instead of moral education it is a value education that we need to bring in a bigger way morning afternoon also we discussed during the lunch time that is uh, bringing this at the younger age, younger age 9th 10th 11th standard students it is very highly beneficial but as uh, we understood the teachers are not available teachers are that many teachers are not available so we need to create so many teachers in this society to give this value based education for our younger generation so definitely anna university should play a major role in this uh, what is our their ambition and uh, definitely we will take a major part in developing this uh, value based education to the society in a large way in the coming years thank you